Okay, we are rolling. So we are going to do a punch biopsy of this mole because it sounds like it's changed over the last few months. Is that right? Mm -hmm. All right. So, any pain? Nope. Good. We're, we're doing it because, you know, we're always worried about skin cancer and melanoma. And melanoma, we just talked about this, but I'm going to say it again. Uh, the, the, when we're trying to assess what's melanoma, we look at the A, B, C, D, and E of melanoma, which A is the area, or excuse me, the asymmetry. So if I can cut it in half, we can see it's a little asymmetric. The borders are a little bit irregular. The color is uniform. If it was not uniform, blues and reds and blacks, then it would be more concerning. Uh, the diameter is D. Is it greater than five millimeters, which is a pencil eraser and is. And E is the evolution, which is really the most important part of it. If you have the ugliest mole in the world, we don't really care. We care if it's changing, you know, we, pretty much. So what we're going to do is I've already cleaned this with chlorhexidine. We're going to use a little punch. We're going to go right to the edge where there's new growth. You feel this? No. Right. And this is going to just push and circular cut down into the into the fatty tissue. There we go. You can feel it going. No pain. I feel it wiggling, but no pain. There we go. I bet because it's so small, it came out, yes it did, it came out in my uh, little punch biopsy here, so we'll put that into a little formalin and send it for biopsy. Put a suture in here. Later, huh? <laughs> Sometimes we put epinephrine inside of these, uh, inside of the uh, numbing, which stops the bleeding. But didn't have any, so <laughs> that's there. There you go. We'll make do. Yeah. So we did. I literally can't feel any of it. It's wild, right? Set. This, these do need to be removed in about seven, eight days, okay. 